we're going to start with a question. And the question is, is it possible to effectively address the topic of empathy without discussing emotional self-awareness and bias? And the answer to that is no. Now, why is it so important to address bias and self-awareness prior to teaching empathy to your corporation, to your teamwork, to your friends, to your families? Because if someone only shows empathy to the same tribe that they like or that looks just like them, that does not help the humanity in a larger scale. For example, at work. If you only show empathy to others that look like you, then you are not helping the environment. You're actually showing favoritism. And that's really not the point of being more empathetic as a leader, for example. Gender. I'm going to use my personal experience for one second, and I think that will help illustrate it. A personal history of mine is I have had female bosses that often jeopardized my career growth. And once I opened up and I shared that story with one of my childhood friends who was visiting, she tried to problem solve it for me and say that maybe you should look for a job where you have a male boss. And that felt good at the moment because I knew she was trying to help me feel better. <laughs> and I was like, wait, so that would be a bias towards male bosses instead of female bosses. And that's not really fair because it's not every woman that is a bad leader. I am a woman and and I would be a hypocrite if I if I spoke so highly on feminism but I didn't support having a female boss for my own self. So that's when I realized that it's so easy for all of us to create biases out of a bad experience because let's define what is bias bias is created out of either ignorance or a stereotypical judgment built in a negative or positive experience so we're only talking about negative biases here that was not healed within yourself so if i never took the time to heal from that encounter that I had with female bosses, I would continue a whole narrative or start a whole, whole narrative because I never had that narrative ever. It could have happened with basically anyone, right? It, it's how we tell the story. And this, these identifications can be a bit dangerous. But if you are good at your job, you can cause jealousy to all genders. It doesn't have to be a female or a male. Anyways, so now that's the part that we have to become aware of self-awareness, that it's so key because all of us carry biases. Most of us are not fully healed. We have bad experiences on a daily basis. And if we are not taking the time to heal from these experiences, maybe your parents have said something negative about a certain race or a certain culture or a certain religion and unconsciously you have been carrying that narrative and that will come out when it comes to empathy you may only showcase empathy to the people that you like and that is not fair and that is not a good usage of empathy empathy is nothing if you're not making it part of your own emotional intelligence on a daily basis with all people especially when you are in a position of leadership or in a position of leadership in your house it's really important that you demonstrate empathy to all members of your family when listening to them same thing in your team it's really important that when you are in that boss position or in an hr position you use that empathetic skills with compassion because here's the problem about empathy and this is probably going to go on a different youtube it's called dark empathy and the dark empathy is something that can be used for a way of manipulation it's when someone is really good in listening to your problems 
that person is really good in identifying your emotion so they have the right vocabulary to say that oh this is what you're feeling oh i would have felt hurt in this situation as well so they are empathizing they are showing that they understand you but the difference is that there is no act of compassion followed up by that empathy so empathy by itself is not that functional if it's not carried by a compassionate act of service so for example is having a hard time with their kids uh, and grieving and going through a job loss and not being able to pay their bills and you listen to their problem if you only show cognitive empathy which is the understanding of the emotion without any follow-up you will just hear like oh okay oh i'm so sorry that you're going through that okay i have to go now uh <laughs> and not offer any kind of compassion that person will feel awful in sharing and talking to you. But instead, if you offer support and say, I'm so sorry that you're going through it. Can I take your kid for this afternoon and give yourself a break for you to do a few errands that you need to run? They can stay as long as they want and they can even have dinner with us. Does that help? Now that is showing compassion followed up by true empathy. The entire purpose of showing up with empathy is to show up with a mindset of curiosity, of wantingness to understand another person's point of view. And there's a lot of richness in that because when you start seeing the world from different perspectives, from different populations, from different races, from different neurodiversity, from different genders, you can now facilitate their work life if you are in a position of power. You can now leverage their skills way better if you are in a position of power. But even as human beings, when we understand why people are acting the way they are acting, we just become less judgmental. We just become less critical. We just become less negative ourselves. Because if you're not using empathy to understand what is happening outside yourself, you will always come out as a dictator. <laughs> you will come out from a place of rigidity and fixed mindset. Because you're not showing any awareness of what other people are going through. And having someone like that in power of other people, of projects, of a company, of a family, in a relationship, in a friendship, is awful. <laughs> Nobody wants to be around people like that. So another huge benefit of becoming more empathetic, more self-aware, keeping a regular check of your biases and as soon as they come up, heal them, you will become the most attractive person in every room just because of your open-mindedness and your lack of judgment towards other people that are different than you. I think more than ever, it's super important to stay away from toxic positivity that will cause mental illness. And if you are someone who only sympathizes and are quick to draw the silver lining when someone is going through something heavy like grief or any other difficult tragedy, if you can show up with full presence and share the emotions that they're feeling, you will take a huge weight out of them because they will feel as they can share the load with someone else is ultimately the true help that anyone going through deep suffering needs to feel.